What's up guys, this is Mauricio Cardinal from Roofing Marketing Pros and today we're going to continue looking at Roofing Contractors Top 100 list. This list is to show you what the biggest roofing contractors, how much, re how much revenue they generated in 2017. I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure how accurate this list is, but it gives you an, an idea and a broad overview of what the best companies are doing in this space and where they are when it comes to revenue. So today we're going to be looking at Collis, uh, Collis Roofing. They're based in Longwood, Florida. And the goal of this video is to take a look at their back-end marketing systems online and see if you can take any value and see if you can model their success and see what they're doing online. This gives you an idea of what the best companies in the space are doing online and see if you can model what they're doing. And there's a, there's a few tools I, I use, but the first we're going to look at their website. And even though the website has this video that's very engaging, I don't see any unique selling proposition or any call to action right in the beginning. It's a bunch of stuff all over the place. Um, I don't think it's a well designed website. It has this video, it's pretty engaging, but it makes a slight look run really slow. When it comes to websites, simpler is always better. Really, people are just all about mobile, the mobile experience. So over half, over half the population are not even using computers as much. They use a mobile experience, and this 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 website doesn't look at like uh, really mobilely uh, updated. So if you look at the snapshot, this is pretty good. Twelve thousand properties a year, three thousand followers, over two hundred thirty-five employees, and seventeen counties in Florida. So they have they cover a wide range. They do mostly residential, I think from roofing contractors, they do about 85% residential and 15% commercial. And I, when, I, when I first saw the site, I, I, I kind of loaded really slow on my computer and this really hurts the Google AdWords campaign or any SEO campaign because it really hurts your rankings when you have a slow website. And I use Google's uh, PageSpeed Insights to look at what they're doing and how they're doing uh, when it comes to the website speed. So it looks on mobile, it's, a, it's pretty poor. They gave it a rating of 63 out of 100. They say this page is not optimized and is likely to deliver a slower user experience. So that's what I felt in the beginning when they, uh, when they did that. So there are some recommendations they give you when it comes to that. When it comes to the desktop, overall it's, it's, it's again a slow experience, it needs work. So that's some things that I would recommend. Unlike other websites that we examine, there's no uh, call to action, uh, there's no uh, free estimate or free inspection. What it, when somebody clicks on this, they're just clicking on on whatever. So it's not, you know, they you know they have even though there it shows a size, it has good copy on it, and it has good testimonials. It doesn't show that for me when it comes to the at least the homepage or the website. So let's look at that what they're doing when it comes to SEO and pay per click. Mostly they get their traffic come from pay-per-click and AdWords. So they're spending about $10,000, $11,000 a month and they're getting about 3,000 clicks when it comes to pay-per-click. And they're getting also a lot of uh, SEO clicks as well. They get about 660 clicks a month from SEO. But most of their traffic comes from paid. So this gives you an overview. 18% is organic. The other percentage is paid. So it gives you an overview of competition what the top competitor paid competitors are and what the keywords are they're going on so roof repair roof repairs metal roofer etc etc here are some of the buy recommendations etc so i'm going to look at a little bit closer what they're doing when it comes to uh, pay per click as you can see they have a pretty long history when it comes to pay per click they've been spending for a long time see two year well, they stopped spending for a little. Well, they still spend a, quite a bit of money, but they stopped. They were spending a lot more here and here, so they stopped spending a lot. So they were getting about eleven thousand clicks. They were probably spending about, you know, close to a hundred thousand dollars a month, uh, from from the looks of it here. So they stopped. You know, two years ago they were spending quite a bit of money, but they're, they're, they're overall they're increasing the spend. Uh, to, they're right now about according to SpyFu, they're spending about eleven thousand dollars a month. And call us roofing, and here are the keywords they're targeting. They're they're targeting a lot of different keywords, and unfortunately, like a lot of companies, they send traffic to a homepage, and here are the ads. 
Now they they did a pretty good decent job when it comes to the ads. They have a a very strong offer, five hundred dollars off a new roof. They have financing, uh, free estimates. The only thing that's missing the warranties. Where are the warranties? Where are the trust factors? Some of them don't have call to actions. But again, like most companies that in the space that I find that they send a paid traffic to a home page instead of a landing page. Now a home page of a website is not designed to convert. Some websites are better than others, so some websites do convert better than others, but overall it's not gonna compete with a landing page as optimized that has dynamic text replacement, that has all these tracking tools that allow you to optimize just for conversion. So that's where it comes in. They send traffic to this home page, it's not really well designed. But they're spent, they're getting so many clicks. I'm sure they're getting a bunch of calls from this, uh, from these. I don't know how many leads they're getting, but I'm sure they're getting hundreds of leads just from all the clicks they're getting. When it comes to some of the uh, pay-per-click keywords, you know, according to IS Minaj, they're doing about 476 keywords. They have targeting 17 counties, and they're doing a lot of, uh, you know some of the good keywords 400 keywords let's look at their their the ads so the only the the best part is the ads. they did a decent job there's some things they can do 20 years of integrity etc etc looks pretty you know decent job overall this it's not bad there's there's companies that do better companies do the worse let's look at their landing pages now this is pretty this is from 2016 so it's pretty old but this is how their website back in the day it's not really well designed at all uh, they were not doing a good job. Uh, I'm sure they only they were only paying you know two years ago eight eight or ten dollars a click. So you know getting a hundred bucks a lead or or two hundred bucks a lead is not is worth it to them. I mean how much is a is a roof a roof replacement? You know ten thousand fifteen thousand dollars. So I'm sure they were getting a return even though they were not doing a good job. This is one of this is really what I want to emphasize with this these types of campaigns that even though a lot of companies don't do a good job they still see a return on their investment because they're spending so much money and they're getting so many clicks and so many leads that it's worth it to them anyways. They're getting still getting an ROI on the on the on the campaign they're spending. So overall that I don't think they're they do a decent job. Some things are doing well. The ads are pretty well written, but overall there there's some things they can do to improve a lot. Uh, SEO they're ranking a few for a few keywords so they are getting a few clicks on it comes to SEO. Now let's look at their their uh, their Facebook page. So they have a, a mini video on their Facebook page. This is pretty engaging. It tells uh, their 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 whole their whole uh, their whole customer avatar is really about it's really about the, the homeowner, right? They're not targeting commercial. They're they're really targeting the homeowner. In this case, it's a pretty well made video. It gives you an introduction how it looks like the damage they're looking for, all that information. Uh, how many reviews they have? Let me see. Uh, reviews. So I have about 64 reviews of 4.0 rating. It's not bad. Not a lot of negative reviews. That's probably bringing down the rating. Uh, let's go with the the photos. What photos they have? Looks like they 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 are pretty engaging on Facebook, so they do run a lot of uh, a lot of f social media posts. I'm sure they do a lot of Facebook advertising, so they have like a regular like regular uh, images and stuff. Let's see the videos to see if they have any commercials or any any commercials that tells them who they are and how they can help them. Yep, they have a commercial here. Something like this always improves campaigns. When you do a commercial like this, it shows that you're a real company, establishes credibility, and it overall just increases the conversion rate. So even though it might not be that good of a commercial or whatever, they probably spend like you know five or ten thousand dollars for this commercial. They do it one time, and that one time will give them results. So it's really about long-term results. And even though they're doing not doing I don't think doing a pretty good job uh, their website is not well designed they're still getting a return because they're, I'm, sure, I'm sure they're getting so many leads from this from these uh, campaigns so that's about it uh, I think there's I don't think there's anything else to add but I would you know there's some things they can do to improve uh, the website needs work 
uh, the paper click they're not sending it to traffic to a home page they have a lot of testimonials a lot of things they can do they shows the size of their work but there's some things they can do to improve and I hope you guys like this video uh, subscribe more for more information and uh, give me a call if you have any chance thanks man